There have been a number of attempts around the country to deal with people who are in the United States illegally. Mm. Some of those focus on law enforcement, some on restricting welfare benefits, some require businesses to verify the citizenship status of the people they hire. I'm going to ask you what you think is the proper approach for, state, for the state uh, on this issue, but I'd also like you to address the concern that we've heard from some business people that say that the verification, uh, the e-verify, the, ver the verification of citizenship is just another burden you're placing on businesses. So what, is your, what do you believe the role of the state government is when we start with the difference? Candidly, I'm good with e-verify. I'm comfortable with the fact that you have to verify and substantiate your employees in terms of their legalities. We're in construction. Our industry, more than any other industry, has been confronted with illegal aliens being involved in people that are working outside of the tax system. They're not being paid overtime. They're not being paid in terms of, of having to have Social Security withheld and other things. That's in direct competition to us. It's very difficult to compete when you're competing on a non-level playing field. I'm very comfortable with whatever takes place to make it work. We finished a job recently. Uh, we were beat by about 20% on a stucco portion of it. Well, as you look around, we shouldn't be beat by 20%. A percent or two along the way in construction, maybe so, but not that arena. The people that we competed with have been busted. They had pled guilty, and we know, well, Kendall, we know now why we were beaten every time. It's because they were using illegals, and they were using them without the tax system, without doing other things. So whatever needs to be done, we're comfortable with it. I had a chance to go to Arizona two years ago to talk to Governor Jan Brewer, who has a little bit different issue with the border, but with the same concerns, she's looking at social services and the fundamental expenses that taxpayers are paying for services and other things for people that are not in the tax system and they're there without the benefit of paying in, and that would be my position. Whatever you can do to legally hammer it, let's hammer it. Phil Bryan. Six years ago when I was state auditor, I looked into this before anybody started talking about it. Now it seems like everybody wants to get on the bandwagon after we determine it costs us $25 million a year for illegal immigrations in the state of Mississippi. That's why when I became lieutenant governor, we passed the E-Verify system that they're talking about. It, we became the second state in the nation, only after Arizona, to mandate that businesses use the E-Verify. It's free. It's a web-based system with the Department of Homeland Security. I, I will tell you it is, it is the best system in the world for determining if that individual is a legalized citizen. We passed that bill. The governor signed it. Now, we've tried to pass other bills in the Senate. We have. We passed one that said you can't aid and abet an illegal immigrant in Mississippi. Passed Senate, died in the House. We said also we're going to have an Arizona-type law with the second offense, if an officer stops someone, the second offense, he has an opportunity to say, I'm going to determine whether or not you're an American citizen. Now, I think all law enforcement officers ought to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Passed in the Senate, died in the House. This has been the most bold and forceful Senate, thanks to the Tea Party self. You ladies and gentlemen came together to help us with that as we passed it through the Senate. Now, one of the reasons we fought so hard for a fair redistricting plan is we're going to change the leadership in the House, and we're going to pass that Arizona-type bill in the House of Representatives. And we're going to send a word, it is a state problem, and we're going to stop it here in Mississippi. Illegals will not take jobs from Mississippians when I'm governor. That's in Hollywood. Well, I think that kind of sizes up the question, folks. Bill's been aware of that now for how many years? Six years? Are we any better off? Are we any better off? Are there more illegals walking up and down the street today than there were six years ago? The question is, they're still here. You see them more every day. The problem is growing. Let me tell you, I support even verify 100%. It's got to be simple. And we've got to increase the penalty on employers that hire. We can't keep putting a penalty on the person that came from Mexico, I'll tell you, if I was in Mexico, I'd be hot putting it across the desert coming to the United States of America. And you would too. So we can't blame them for wanting to be here. You take the jobs away from them where they don't have a job and they can't find a place to live, guess what? They'll go to some other state. And that's what we need to do in this state. Uh, Congress is working on a, on a bill right now, Grassley and some of the other guys, to increase the penalty for employers that hire these uh, 
these illegal workers and get caught doing it. We got to have a play, level playing field for people like me when he goes back and goes back to doing his work after I'm elected go. I kind of have a little fun. In this thing. I might even consider flying in the truck. Well, you said you were going to vote for me.